Christmas dinner ready in time. I've still got so much to do. Maisie, Maisie! Sorry, I was upstairs reading, getting ideas. Where is everyone? Lars and Farrah have just given everyone their milk upstairs, but they're all looking very hungry. Oh no, Maisie, the oven isn't on. We'll never have Christmas dinner ready in time. Where's everyone got to? Meredith is down at the playgroup, talking to the boys again. Apparently they've all bought her a present, and Terry's out playing with his car. Have you heard the news? Apparently they're going to join our playgroup to one in York. It's an outrage. When's dinner time? We need to have dinner soon, otherwise it'll be nap time, and we'll never get this mountain of presents open. I'm afraid, my lord, there's been a disaster and the ovens are off. There is no Christmas dinner. Heavens, whatever next? There's really no need for that kind of panic. Surely we can rustle something up. Where are all the other staff? They're all busy learning to read and write, sir. They seem to have ideas above their station. Send one of the staff to get some potatoes, carrots onions and parsnips from the local farmers. They must have some left over. I'll tell Meredith to get a turkey and one of those boys that are in love with her. I'm sure we have some red cabbage and bread crumbs downstairs, my lord. What about the Brussels sprouts? Without them, we may as well surrender the empire. Hello, everyone. In an unlikely plot twist, I'm back from America, where I've made a fortune as a Brussels sprout farmer. Hurrah! That was a great idea, putting it all in pot together. Super tasty. I think the readers on my comic could enjoy this. Who is she again? The other one, my lady. The one that nobody notices. In fact, I might start a business selling it. I'll call it... Jingle Belly. <laughs> oh, Edie, another one of your Christmas crackers. What will you think of next? <laughs> <laughs>